Hi guys, so in this video I am going to introduce you to this really wonderful tool called Plotly and it's a tool to help you create graphs on the computer for your science fair project. So let's get started. So you should have already logged in and signed up for an account. If you didn't, you should stop watching this video and go to the video before this one so you know how to sign up for an account. Uh, but once you've logged in, you're going to go to this button right here where it says Create, and it's going to be a hover button. You're going to scroll down to where it says Chart, and it's going to give you this uh, window with a grid and a graph, empty graph. Um, Plotly is really awesome. If you go here and open it, you're going to see there's all sorts of different graphs that you can create. For our purposes, we are only focusing on bar and line graphs to keep it simple. So I'm going to start with bar chart. So go ahead and click on bar chart and change it here. Great. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to input some of the data that you collected from your experiment into Plotly. Now, it's really important that you are not making graphs unless you have the data ready. So you want to do the experiment, collect data, record the data in your data graph chart, which you should, you should have created already in Google Classroom. And once you have your data ready, now you're ready to graph it. So this is, we're pretending that we've already completed the experiment. This is just an example set of data. Um, this student decided to test uh, the effect of music on the number of goals shot accurately by a soccer player. So we have our deep uh, independent variable was to listen to music and our control group right here was to ha not have any music and our dependent variable uh, or the effect they were measuring was the number of goals in 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and transfer this data into here and make a graph out of them. So I'm going to start by typing the independent variable and the control group just like how you see here. So this is going to say no music and this one's going to say listen to two minutes of music before shooting goals. There. Okay. And then, and then I'm going to copy this data here. In trial one, no music had 20 goals and two minutes of music group got 24 goals. Okay. Uh, because this is our first graph, I'm only going to focus on trial one. We are going to come back to trial two and three in the next video. Okay, there we go. So um, now we have our data in this chart. And all right, our next step is to actually, let's label these columns so we know what they represent. We don't want to call them A and B. So how to label them? So column A represents the two different groups that were tested, the control and the independent group, right? So click on the little, uh, down symbol here and go to rename header and I'm just going to call them tested groups because that's what this column represents and then B 20 and 24 this was these are numbers of goals that were shot accurately right so let's go ahead and rename this number of goals shot accurately oops and I spelled that wrong there then click on confirm and there we go we have I'm just gonna drag this so we can see it better okay so now we have our labeled groups here and the labeled uh, number number of goals that were shot by each group now all we need to do is take this data and try to make a graph out of it so let me show you how you're going to do that so usually um, in a data chart in as far as science fair, we have independent and dependent variables, right? So our independent variable was the fact that we added music to one of the groups. And our dependent variable, what, what we were measuring, is the number of goals that were shot accurately. In this case, we want the independent variable and the control groups to be the x-axis, and the dependent variable or the effect that we're measuring to be the y-axis. So right here where it says y and x, we're going to label them like that. So the y-axis here, we want this to be the number of goals shot accurately. So you're going to click on the arrow and you're going to click on number of goals shot accurately. There you go. The X axis down here, we want to label what these two things are. So you're going to click the arrow and you're going to click on the tested groups. Okay. And what it's going to do, it's going to label 
each column for you. So now we are able to see uh, no music group versus two minutes listen to music group and it actually uh, visualizes the data and you can see here it's easier to tell that the no music group had less goals than the music group. The final thing that you need to do is to add a title. So what is this graph showing us? So let's do this. Let's put number of goals shot accurately, oops, I always spell it with an S for some reason, accurately by a soccer player with and without music. Perfect. When you make a graph, you want to uh, make a title of a graph, you want to make sure you capitalize each word unless it's uh, a word like a, an, or by. There you go, perfect. And there you have it. You have a graph of your data. And all you got to do now is print this out for your science fair project. So to do that, you first want to save it here. Okay, click save. Make sure it's public and then click save so you won't lose your data. And then uh, to get this printed, you're going to go to export, which is here. You're going to export it as a PNG. And then, so make sure this is highlighted. If you want to make your graph bigger, you can always go to custom size and you can always make these numbers bigger. Um, but I'm not going to change mine. Okay, and then hit download and it's going to download the file into your downloads folder. So here's mine. Let's just check and there we go. Here's my graph. And then what you can do is you could go to your print function on your computer and print this out and glue it onto your board. And that's that. It already has everything colored and labeled for you, which is perfect. And that's it. Next thing I want to show you is how to share these graphs with each other uh, because some of you are working in partner groups. So to do that, you're going to click on share button here and you could uh, share it two ways. You can share the link like this, email it as a link, or you can click on the collaborator tab and you can put their email in this box right here and click on add. And that's it.